Okay, let's go over a very long list of independent activity ideas. So, um, as I'm being very open about, um, I'm dyslexic. So there's, I, I can read, I can, I can read, but I, I have a dyslexic font that I created to be able to help myself read. And uh, I'll go through this list, and this is beneficial because some people they they think better when they're acting if they're if they're able to hear. So we're going to put this on video. So okay, so examples of independent doings. Now we're looking at independent doing. You're you're doing an activity. We've we've explained that already. And okay, so we're going to change. These are all options. Changing a bicycle tire. Building a uh, three-story or seven-story uh, house of cards out of out of a couple of decks of cards. You just go get a couple of decks of cards and build up uh, three or seven stories. It depends how good you are. You want to be able to be uh, adjustable. You can varnish furniture. Now varnishing furniture. Could be different types of wood. Sew, repair on dress. So you can sew some sort of repair on a on a dress or a patch. A patch is a bit different, but you can repair a, a tear. You can build a birdhouse. You can repair a watch. Now, if you if you need to repair a watch, you're gonna of course have to have everything that you need. To be able to repair the watch, you have to have all the little tools. You've got to be able to to have. Maybe you need to change the battery out. You can repair the watch by changing the battery, or you can repair the watch by changing the the little uh, instruments inside of the watch. You could be programming a website page. Now, that activity, it's an activity, but it's a little logical. So understand that you're giving yourself something that's logical. You can be welding a table frame. You can be painting a portrait. You can be washing the floors as is an activity. Prepping for a paint job. So if prepping for a paint job is, is the activity that you go and you tape around all the different doors and, and windows or the design. Um, it would be even better if you include stencils. Stencil, uh, special um, tape, uh, taping design uh, for, uh, for painting, you know, for the, for you can paint a, a stencil. You can be washing the floor. You can be prepping for a paint job. That's a prepping for the paint job. Uh, sanding a table stand. So you find some, some table stand and you can sand it. Now, if you're doing that in a classroom where you're in closed black box theater, you want to be a little bit sensitive because you don't want to put a lot of dust in the air, possibly. So at least check with your teacher. Crafting a wood stool. Um, so you want to craft a wood stool. That's that's interesting. Dicing. Now, when you're when you're looking at these uh, and you're listening to these, try and pick the ones that are interesting to you. So one might be more interesting. You might have a knack or you might have a liking towards one versus another. Dicing onions. You could dice onions as an activity. And of course, a lot of these activities you'd incorporate into. So some of these, these, these activities, of course, they're going to be used for exercises. But many of these are fantastic ideas for scenes. So in, in, in you want to incorporate dicing onions. I could completely see somebody incorporating dicing onions into a scene. And it would be really helpful to the scene to give some organic component to it.
and you could be taping an audition. You set up the camera, you tape the audition. Perfecting a choreography. You could perfect a choreography for, uh, well, it could be a, a lot of things. I mean, you could perfect a choreography for, um, uh, for miming. Uh, you could uh, perfect a choreography for dance. Knitting a scarf. Now, this is an interesting one because it's not terribly, terribly difficult. But it could be if you're looking at the exact certain pattern that you really have to get. So if there's a certain difficulty that you can kind of find in that, then that would be something that's ideal. That you could actually do an activity and it could be knitting a scarf. It's a realistic one. Crocheting a doily is another one that's I mean, if, if you crochet doilies and you can do that without even looking blindfolded, then it may not be as the greatest activity, but you could, you could incorporate that into a scene, definitely. And uh, uh, you you have to pick out which kind of patterns. Hemming leather boot. So you want to hem or repair a leather boot's side of the leather, so you're hemming the leather. Good activity is shining your boots. So you shine your boots. Great activity, really good activity. Now you could do a specific Play-Doh castle. And you could, you could do a Play-Doh castle. Now there's a couple of different ways you could do it. You could do this really unheartfelt and just have a pile of Play-Doh and it would look really f terrible. Or you could really craft uh, a Play-Doh castle, a model it after architecture design, do something very specific with it. And when you do specific things like that with your Play-Doh, even if it's, you just have Play-Doh, you could do something that's interesting with the Play-Doh, it would be a real activity. Now you could be preparing for a headshot. That could be a lot of things, preparing for a headshot. You could be preparing your clothing for a headshot. You could be preparing the, the, the things that you need to have to be able to go to a, a place to get your headshot. Uh, you could be um, doing uh, your hair to be able to get ready for um, uh, the headshots. A lot of different options there. You could be blowing up balloons. Now, if you're going to blow up balloons, you could do this manually, manually, or with machine. So you could be using one of those tools to do the pump thing for the for the balloons, or you could um, have an electric pump for the balloons. So you, your goal is that you're going to sit down and you're going to do 100 balloons or 150 balloons. And you're going to use this, this air pump to be able to make 150 balloons. And if you need to, you can, uh, of course, you can, if, depending on, on, on what you're designing for yourself as an actor, you can put a time limit on that. And then you could have that. That's a great, all of these are good. That's a good, blowing balloons, are, it's a good one. You could blow them just with the air from your lungs. And that's, that could be okay, but it may not be practical. It depends on how good you can, you can do it because it's, you don't want to just not, you want to be able to be active, you know? Okay, you could be repairing a wood glue frame. Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, it could be embroidering a picture. So, if you're going to embroider a picture, you want to have something that you want to do and you want to try and bring in maybe a more difficult part of it. And uh, maybe the embroidery isn't just a normal embroidery, but something specific. It could be something that you're going to make into a patch. 
adding Velcro to blankets. This is, this is a, that's a great one. Um, you could use it by machine or you could do it by hand. You could do a Halloween makeup face. So you could you specifically work with a Halloween face. Maybe you want to make yourself look like, um, uh, I don't know, whatever, you know, a white face, makeup, something scary. And uh, do very, very, yeah, if you, if you do a makeup face, you're going to be a little bit more involved if you have a photograph or some kind of drawing, even if it's your, it's your own drawing of the, of the, uh, of the makeup, so you know kind of where to put the lines and you have something that you can follow. Painting a child's toy. This is interesting because you could, you could really incorporate, you know, desire to have family or um, uh, uh, family that you have and you could incorporate that into, into the work. And painting a child's toy, maybe you're painting the child's toy a favorite color. And you've got the favorite color of the child's toy on the on the toy now, and it's and it's done well. You could also be doing this for yourself. You could be painting a child's toy, and maybe you've got this little, I don't know, some kind of stature or figurine that you're painting, so that you can add a personalization to it, and then you can add, you know, obviously a good reason to do all that. Clog dancing number, now. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen, now I've seen well over 20, well, well over 20,000 exercises in acting. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen clog dancing number. But again, I thought of these myself. I wrote these down, brainstorming myself, not looking at anyone else's stuff, completely, absolutely just doing my own brainstorming. Um... Now, one, I did see, I saw one of these things on the TV or some place like that. Uh, I don't know, some media. Uh, shaving a sheep. Now, I don't know. I don't think this has ever been done in an acting class. But it's a fantastic, <laughs> that's a fantastic, could you imagine you bring in a live sheep? Now, you obviously have to make sure the sheep's miniature, right? It's a miniature sheep. And um, it would be surprising. <laughs> it would be a it would be a, a, a very good uh, um, Meisner activity or independent activity or uh, a doing. I call them the doings, the doing exercises because it really is an involvement. It's an involved doing. Um, shaving the sheep would be great. Um, cleaning a trumpet. So you can clean a trumpet. Um, there's a few things you could do with that one because everybody, you know, they, they say, well, you know, you could just bring in an instrument and just start cleaning it. And some people choose to like really just, just buff the trumpet. But if you, if you came up with a storyline and interwaved like, you know, either this is a... a a relative's trumpet or a famous person's trumpet or, or somebody that, that you've broken a trumpet and you have to try and clean it so nobody can tell. You want to, you want to be able to uh, really incorporate something more than just buffing it and shining the trumpet. Although shining the trumpet, I guess technically that is another. Um, um, another activity because, you know, you could shine it. But the reality, too, is that you want to clean it. And you can clean it with the, the spokes that go through. You could also do um, cleaning um, of a uh, ukulele uh, or, or a different instrument where you're really having to try and, you know, you're trying to get the germs out of the, out of the, out of the instrument, or, you know, and you craft your ability and desire to want to do it because you want to get all the germs, you want to germ-free the, uh, the, uh, the instrument. 
crafting a fly fish for fishing. I've never seen this. I thought it would be a great idea. Um, you could craft your own fly fish for, for acting. So you, you're doing your acting and you're crafting a fly fish. Never seen that activity done. But I did think of it, so I put it on the list. Okay, another one. Tying rope. I have no idea how, how long this is. I know that I'm at the beginning of the list. I'll probably break it up into a few different sections. Um, tying a rope. Um, weaving a rope. So you're, you're weaving a rope. You're trying to make a, a larger strand of rope by weaving rope together. Handcrafting a flute. Um, now that, that would be fantastic. Uh, you could also hand craft um, a flute prop. So like it looks like a prop of a flute, but it's not an actual flute. So you could be, it's like a wooden uh, of wood, you know? And it, it's a wooden design, you can make it your own, and it's, and it's a prop that you're actually crafting, you're hand making a crafting uh, prop flute. Um, next one is handmade bamboo furniture. So you can hand make bamboo furniture. Hmm. Um, there, there's a thing called a Mensa test. And dyslexia people often will score high on Mensa tests. It's the uh, ability to invert images and reverse images. And to be able to tell whether or not the um, inverted image is the exact dimensions of the non-inverted images, which is called a Mensa test. And if you track down a Mensa test, now this is a little bit tricky because it's a little logical, but if you have fun doing it, you might you might you might find it interesting. It's um, a lot of dyslexics of, of uh, intelligence problems. Basically, they, their brains think too quickly, which is sometimes my brain will think very quickly and I'll see a B as a P. Or a N as a U is often the case. Um, okay, singing bowl recording. Now, a singing bowl is a singing bowl where you've got, um, you can have, crystal singing bowls and you can have um, singing bowls of metal and, and it, you you rub the edges or you use an instrument for the singing bowl depends on which style and you could make um, a recording of this of doing the singing bowl so maybe you have uh, I'll add this um, uh, matching um, a musical tune Right? So you're matching the musical tune. Your activity would be to match the musical tune with the singing instrument. And you could do the same thing with, um, oh gosh, the xylophone. Um, okay, next one is pulling string art. Now, string art, there is wooden, um, wooden string art, right? And what you do is you put the, the, well, there's a few different styles, of course. There's always a few different styles of all these different artistic things. But you put the, the pegs on the board or some kind of wood, or um, it could even be plastic. You have plastic sheet or some kind of, 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 of device that you're, you're using as the backboard. And you put nails in very specific areas. And then you take the string and you, and you tie the strings together to make a pattern. And when you do that, now you can make it, it's very interesting. You can make a very interesting pattern. Okay, so the next one I have here is playing the banjo. So 
it goes along with all those activities that can be done with those kinds of instruments and you can learn to, to play a banjo and uh, I don't know I don't think I even have this but I'm going to add this reading sheet music uh, for guitar or banjo so if you're working to be able to read your following along that's that's a thing that you can do as well okay the next one here and this is where I'll stop for now is that or well soon we'll go a little bit um, fixing a ham radio so you're fixing a ham radio now this means that you're gonna have to probably spend some time to understand what is a ham radio and I'm gonna add another one here that is fixing a crystal radio now a crystal radio is is something that you have a crystal and you connect everything up with the um, design of the, of, of the apparatus and as soon as you connect these wires it's like you're being an electrician and through the crystal you get frequency which is incredible so take these in consider this maybe this is one of your activities that you can do and uh, this is just the start of the list so I'll, I guess I'll call this list one of many um, and um, enjoy enjoy this there's a lot there's a lot of things that your options for you to be able to grow acting so and I have um, here at um, emotional preparation I have a list of over uh, it's nearly it's over a thousand over a thousand items that can be for um, independent activities so feel free go through that list and start incorporating uh, that that work into your classwork and uh, choose for yourself of course um, what's something that actually is interesting to you there is enough stuff on this list that if the actors go through this list and do enough of these lists you, you should be able to do an entire um, two-year, three-year program in acting in uh, Meisner or, um, you know, just acting classes that do uh, doors activities, uh, independent. I mean, those doors and activities, they used to be called ins and outs. Um, back in the day, that's how they were called. They were called ins and outs. It was that simple. It was a matter of having this situation where you have... Um, the doing exercise that's inside the door and you have the being exercise that's outside the door so then you have this thing called inner life for the people that were in the being exercise they were the ones that would work specifically to affect themselves and later in the work both people would do that and then later on the thing called inner life got changed to become known as emotional preparation and uh, so that's a little bit of a history for you well, enjoy the list and look for the other one and share this with your friends and everything. It'd be appreciated. And boop, uh, boop, boop, or boop the like button.